We are almost done with our project plan now. There is a little resource over allocation problem remain in the project. Even we have leveled our resource within Slack and out of Slack. So now I'm going to request additional resource to be added in the project. And in the project file, what you can do here is go to the resource sheet view and increase the design engineers from 200% to 300%, which of course mean additional cost to the project, but this will remove the resource over allocation problem for design engineers. And you go back to the Gantt chart. The little red man disappeared for assemble hardware as well. Now, if you're happy with this project plan, one last thing to do here we are going to change all our task type back to fix unit. Remember when we first set up the project file, we make all new tasks as fixed duration. We did that, so when we assign the resource, by changing the resource amount, the duration would not change. But for now, when we are done with project planning, and right before we start to run this project and track the project information, we want to change all the tasks back to fixed unit. So when we start on certain tasks, we can complete partial test count by the percentage of the work. So for this purpose, you can select all tasks in the task name column, right click, and go to information, advanced tab. And for task type, we're going to change it to fixed unit and click OK. This will usually change all the tasks you selected back to fixed unit, but in some rare case, the program may not change every single task specifically. So to be safe, you can go to every single task and check information at advanced and see the task type show fixed unit and effort driven checked. Now we are ready to save this project plan as our baseline. The baseline of the project will provide the planned schedule and the cost for this project to be compared with the actual schedule and the cost. And this baseline make the tracking of the project or the task tracking possible. To do that, make sure you're on project menu and go to set baseline. Use the drop down box. If you have a baseline set up before, you can clear it up, but if this is the first time you set up a baseline, you can do set baseline. And in this window, you can do set baseline for the entire project and click OK. Now we have a baseline of the project for the tracking process 